Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to color grade and get the best kinds of screen tones when it comes to Photoshop. And as you know, color grading is something that is really subjective. So I want to show you how I do it my way to get beautiful, nice and uniform skin tones when it comes to Photoshop. So you have to do the color grading after you are done with the skin retouching process. And as you can see right here, I have done my skin retouching. You can see before and after. And in case you're interested in learning skin retouching from the start to the very end, I have a fr free course that is going to help you understand and learn about skin retouching in general from the start to the very end. So, in order to do this, you're going to first of all come and create a stamp visible layer by pressing Shift Option Command E, Shift Alternate Control E for those using Windows. So, Shift Option Command E, that is for Mac. Then for Windows is Shift Option Command. For Windows is Shift Alternate Control E. For Mac is Shift Option Command E. And after creating a stamp visible layer, you're just going to come and select the subject. So just come to select and come to subject so that we can select the edges of the subject. Because as we're trying to work on the skin tones, we don't want the color to spill over to the background of this very image. After selecting the subject, now we want to create a layer that is going to contain our color grading for the skin tone. So just come to this new layer icon and click on it to create a new layer. And you can as well rename this to skin color or skin tone. After renaming the layer, just come to the blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to color. After changing the blend mode to color, you're just going to come and get the brush tool. So Come the brushes, get the brush tool, and for the settings, ensure that the, that the brush is really soft. So just come and select soft, and the hardness is set to zero. The mode is set to normal, or past at 100%, and flow at 100%. Once you're done doing that, the next step is going to be sampling a color on the model skin that you want the rest of the skin to look like. So usually, I would recommend that you sample a color that is really warm enough. By warm enough, I mean a color just slightly close to yellows or oranges because that is going to be very easy for you to color correct later on, as I will show you in this very tutorial. So I'm just going to come, hold down the option key on the keyboard. So with the brush tool selected, hold down the option key on the keyboard and click on the area that you prefer on the model skin. So option, click, alternate for windows and click on that color and you can see the color is going to display under the color swatches. So after that, just start painting the color. So to paint, simply get the brush tool and click and hold down and simply paint over the skin. But as you're doing all this, make sure that you avoid painting areas that have makeup or even you don't paint the hair because this is going to really look unnatural and models don't want you to change or distort their makeup because sometimes it is really expensive to apply makeup so just paint on the skin like that and you can see as you're painting on the skin this color is now going to start looking nice beautiful and even or uniform but it looks unnatural because we have not yet fine-tuned the colors in this very image so keep eye from the eyebrows and keep eye from the hair so paint each and every single area that you feel has skin. And for this case, the model did not even have any kind of eyeshadow. That is why I've painted on top of the eyelids. So I'm just going to paint like that and ensure that I've painted every single area that has or contains skin color in this very photo or in this very image. So in case you made a mistake in a given area, and by the way, as you're painting, remember you can as well zoom in so that you can see or identify the areas that have not been painted. So just zoom in to paint on a very small area. And by the way, during the painting process, you can increase or reduce on the size of the brush tool by using the square bracket keys on the keyboard. So the left and right square bracket keys are going to increase or reduce on the size of the brush tool depending on how small or how big the area that you want to work on is. So I've painted majority of the areas. And as you can see, I've painted some unwanted areas. 
and I want to perfect those areas like the eyebrows. So just come and get a razor tool and measure the mode is set to brush. Opacity is 100%, flow also at 100%. Reduce on the size of the eraser tool. And by the way, the shortcut for the eraser tool is E on the keyboard. So simply press E on the keyboard. And as you can see, I'm trying to eliminate color from the eyebrows of the subject. So I feel about there is okay. And I'll eliminate it from her mouth or lips. So after perfecting the colors, and I feel like I'm comfortable with the results over the areas that I've painted, I'm just going to zoom out. Then just come to this layer, come to opacity and reduce on the opacity because it looks a little bit unnatural in this case. So I'm just going to reduce on the opacity to about, let's go with about 60, 65 looks okay. You can see before, after. After this, press Command D or you can use Control D to deselect the active selection. And after deselecting the active selection, it is time to perfect the colors so that it the colors can look a little bit natural and realistic. So come to the adjustments and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And after this, just come to master, click on the reds. And after selecting the reds, in case the skin is looking too greenish or too reddish, you can play around with the hue values to your taste or to your liking. So for this, I'm just going to add a little bit of greens and make the skin color a little bit green. Then I'll come to where you see the lightness and simply take down the lightness slider. And as you can see, when you take down the lightness slider, it is going to mute or reduce on the amount of oranges from the model's skin to around. I'm just going to go with around negative 20. Looks okay. Then we are going to come and create another adjustment layer, which is the black and white adjustment layer change its blend mode from normal to multiply come to opacity and reduce on the overall opacity to our taste or to our liking so about 11 looks okay to me and after doing this in order to add more contrast to the skin tone in case it looks pale for you or to your eyes we are going to create another stamp visible layer shift option command e on the keyboard shift alternate control e on the keyboard for mac it is shift option command e for windows it is shift alternate control e then you're going to come to filter come back to camera raw filter so we just want to darken this skin color or skin tone so just come to the color mixer and you know the option that darkens skin tone when it comes to the color mixer is luminous because it deals with the light values of a given color so for this we just want to target the oranges just come to oranges and move the slider towards the left hand side. And this is basically going to darken the skin of the subject. You can see before, after. So initially it was looking a little bit pale. But right now it looks better and it has a little bit more of the contrast in it. So after this, we're just going to come and open the image back to Photoshop. So in Photoshop, let's play around with the blacks because I feel like the blacks are a little bit having this kind of magenta or reddish color cast so just come and create a selective color adjustment layer then come to the blacks then move the sign slider towards the right hand side and this is going to add more definition to the blacks of the image and you can as well come to the blacks and slightly intensify on the blacks just like that so i'm just going to leave it at about two you can see before after before after after doing this you can even take this higher or a notch higher by simply creating another effect to make the image better and that is going to be adding skin glow or skin shine by coming to curves and come down here click on this pointer move it from right to left up to when the highlights on the skin are slightly overexposed right click on the curves adjustment layer come to blending options then come measure blend if it's set to gray come to where you see underlying layer and click and hold down these pointers and move them towards the right hand side and stop at the point whereby only the highlights on the skin are being affected then hold down the option key on the keyboard alternate for windows and click on this pointer and split it up to when the effect blends well into the skin so just come and click ok 
Then with this white line mask selected, press Ctrl I, or you can use Command I on the keyboard to invert the effect. Then you're going to get the brush tool. Make sure the opacity is 100%, flat 100%, and make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. So in case you don't have black and white on these two color swatches, simply click on the tiny swatches. Or you can simply press D on the keyboard. So make sure white is the top color. And after that, just come and start painting over the areas in the highlight areas of the skin to create skin glow or skin shine on the model's skin. And this is going to make the image a little bit better. So just paint in those particular areas to make the model's skin glow. You can say before or after, but sometimes you may have painted some areas that you did not want paint in the first place. So just come and switch the brush back to black, black as the top color, and you can erase colors from areas that you did not want to paint in the first place. You can say before, after, before, after. So after doing this, just come the opacity in case it's overdone and reduce on the effect or the opacity of the skin glow or skin shine. So you can see what we have been able to achieve simply right here in Photoshop. I feel like the glow is too much still. So before, after. So let's go with about 50 before and after. After doing this, you can see that we have a better looking image. So if it is still looking too orange regarding the skin color, create another hue and saturation adjustment layer, select the reds and come the lightness and you can drop the lightness even more to your taste or to your liking. So this is it for the skin tone color grading. And you can see we started right here. This is the overall image with the skin retouching. And this is the after with the color grading process. So I hope you have benefited from this video. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe. If you have been watching and you are not a subscriber to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.